Hello everyone, it's the 21 here, and today I'm doing a video on the kind of downfall of the FNAF YouTube line. Um, before this video starts, I'd say I do not hate YouTubes. Um, it's things I'm going to say in, in the video later might indicate I do, but I don't think they do. I, they make some pretty nice stuff. The line started uh, about like a few years ago with the FNAF 1 line. It, it sold out, which wasn't a great choice because I think maybe when they went into making this, they probably thought that this would be the only wave and they did really well. Um, and then they, you know, they thought, we should probably renew it. So, yeah. Anyway, so the number one thing I want to talk about is the seven days thing that they do on the website. Because this first started with the chibi standing up characters uh like with like this q reach ones and the FNAF one ones now they were labeled as seven days only and once they were gone they were gone and it was mostly like this until about uh about may of this year um randomly on the card uk they showed up <laughs> there's quite a lot of stock of them and the card are an official uh distributor of u2s like you can actually buy from them but like they're an online store Meaning they're not exactly seven days only, are they? Um, and to make it even worse, the next time they did this, which, which was the uh, what would it have been? Not the golden thread. The golden thread was actually like a day only. That was that. That was probably the only time they actually stuck to their word with this. Um, what was the other one? It was the security bridge U twos, like wave two. Now the wave two of these was like seven days only, limited edition, never coming back. Seven days only, but then they are literally the easiest wave of, t of YouTubes to find in the UK because they are everywhere. You can get them on Amazon, you can get them on Card Vault. I think a lot of them are sold out now because after Christmas, a lot of them sold. But it's, isn't that just like false advertising? I mean, it's probably, I mean, it's, legally it's alright, but like, I think I don't mind them doing this seven days only thing like on the web because what it is basically is. The YouTubers they want to send out to their to like to like stores and stuff, they don't want to sell it on the website. So I think it's probably something to do with, that, with the stores themselves, where they say you can't sell them on the website. You can only sell it in the store because it gives people a reason to actually go in the store and buy them, which just kind of makes sense if you think about it. The YouTubers probably made a compromise where they are seven days only on the website, and then it's for the rest of time, it's on like it's, it's in shops and stuff. And if they would just say that, it'd be fine. But the fact that they're doing this seven days only limited time offer stuff, it just seems really like, like it seems really kind of scummy, really. Um, and that's not even the worst of it. I'll get to it later. And then they did this two more times, two more fucking times, with the FNAF uh, Haunted Collection that was seven days only or five nights only, whatever it was, because like the FNAF movie wave. That wave you can get on Card Vault. You can get it on. It's coming to like HMVs in the UK. I'm pretty sure it's coming to some Americans like stores like GameStop and Hot Topic and that. And he did it again with the what are they, the wave two or three of the cheap flashes. The one that had like the mangle, the glitch trap that entered. I got entered from HMV and I got Fox from Cardwell when they re-released them. Um and I they had they had them in the shop, they had the whole wave in shop. I bought Entered because he was like he the only one's actually worth the money. Um because he's big and the other one's very small, but anyway, but the point is it's like if you're gonna do it, just at least be honest. Like, I, I just really seems scummy to me. Because it's like, it, it, it forces, I can see why they do it, because it enforces a kind of FOMO where it's like, ah, oh, um, you know, if you don't get it now, you're never gonna get it, and it makes more people buy the, the funny FNAF bear figure. But the thing is, is that it, this, I know people are gonna argue this, in countries where they don't have shops that sell you twos, this actually does apply, like, the seven days only thing does actually apply to this. But it's the fact that it feels like, it feels to me, it just feels like, if you know you're going to release it in stores later, just say that. Because I'm sure it would be a lot better if the people in countries, I don't know, like, take, um, I don't know, um, Spain, for, I, I ran about Spain. So you're in, say you live in Spain, and there's loads of FNAF fans who live in Spain uh, who want to get the Burn Trap U2s. If you're going to say that to, to the UK people who are, there's a lot more UK fans, you're going to say to them, buy the stock of, buy the burn trap uses only available for seven days, but, the, but then it releases later on, then you can say, well, here's what you do. 
you tell the UK people, you, you announce that these this wave two will be released in the UK later on, so it means there's more stock for the people in the countries who don't have access to the U2 to later do, later don later down in the line. That's really what you should do, but they didn't do that, so it seems really scummy. Anyway, I've spent like five minutes on this. I'm gonna get to the next topic. So, the next thing I want to talk about is the the shrinkflation in terms of the U2s because. These things have been getting really, really small. So I'll show a picture here of my Foxy U2s compared to my Golden Freddy U2s. And bear in mind, I paid £30 for the Foxy U2s. And I paid £40 for the Golden Freddy U2s. And look how small they are. They're the same, well, they're £10 more. And they're littler. And this is, doesn't just, just apply to this Golden Freddy one. The, that whole wave in general. Because people may say, oh, the Golden Freddy, because the material probably costs a bit more than the average material, so they made it smaller. Which I do get, but, like, come on, you dudes. It's like, I get why they are, you know, they're smaller. But I would much rather pay £45 for a Golden Freddy the size of the Foxy u than pay £40 for a Golden Freddy that's a lot smaller. Because... I don't know if you've seen the Mangle U2s. I haven't. I don't have that in person, so I can't tell. Um, but I've seen the Baby and the Helpy and the Energy U2s. So they are. They are in the same. They are, I've seen them compared, and I have Energy, so I can. I can kind of get a gist of how big it is. It's about the size of a Funko plush. Which, if you're going for the Funko plush thing, cool. Go ahead. Do like what X Mark Global do. Cool. But just charge quadruple the price of a Funko plush for the same size as a Funko Plush is just ridiculous. And no one talks about the printing on the u There are a fuckload of printing on them. I think the end u about... No, everything besides his head is printed. Which is a... Not really help. The printing isn't bad. I don't hate it. I'm not always like... I, I, I like the sister location made by Funko. Um, which says a lot really, but... It's like... People don't really complain about the printing on it. But like... You know, they really should. Like, like when Funko, like, prints... I remember someone, I don't know who it was. Someone complained about them printing the lines on Candy's boats on, on um, fans vs. Candy's, like, tie. People were complaining about that. And that's and that's a 10, 10 pound plush. Ennard's a 40 pound plush. And has printing all over him. No one complains about that. But, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm just... I have a lot of pent up rage for users for charging a, a enormous amount of money for shipping and taxes and stuff. That's probably really what makes me upset was the fact that I wait like half a year to get them. But you know, I can kind of understand that, you know what I mean? I get that, but you know what I mean? If Makeship can make something in like two months, then you know, I don't see why they can't, but that's another thing. It's like, they, I would I would honestly rather wait, I would, also, I, I would honestly rather them release the FNAF Ruin stuff, like when it's actually releases like they, they do this for some things but like when you buy it it ships immediately so you haven't got to wait half a year because i get why they do it is to, to catch the hype so the hype of like the haunted wave was was like, in turn for the fnaf i get that on some extent but it's just like it's annoying i have refunded loads of youtubes like loads of like youtube on because let's for example take oh no I, you might hate me i bought a rambo youtube i know the fucking minecraft guy um, I, I don't, I regret it now, but I never end up having that because I spent like forty pound on buying it, and then and then I think I think uh, like three months before it's about to ship, I refunded it and bought some Lego set because I did not like Rambo because his content is not that great. Um, I don't can me on fucking Twitter, whatever funny Andrew Tate joke, but the uh, the, the point is like I have refunded loads of stuff because I've. I I was on the hype train. I thought, oh yeah, this is really cool. Like whatever. I bought it and then it ended up being shit. And I was like, I was refund it. So it it just work out for me a bit more. But you know, for you as a company, I'm sure catching on the hype may not always pay off exactly because it's pretty easy to refund you twos. Like and also it's like an extra forty pound on pocket. You know what I mean? It's like. But I don't know. I think as a whole, because I'm trying to wrap this video up pretty easy. I'm, I, I want to make. This, I, I don't want to say too much bad stuff because, like, I don't want them cancelling my orders and stuff like that. Because I've ordered quite a lot from them, still yet to come. But another thing, the final thing I'll say is that 
it's really sad to see you twos as a company kind of like not fall off because they are doing very well at the moment but like the FNAF line is getting gradually, like, worse with every wave. And some, and, like, it's just, it's, you can't really see it. But if you look more into it, you can kind of see it. Like, and the Help Wanted 2 wave, that wave has been in production hell for years. And it looks terrible. This trap does not look good. Uh, it's lacking loads of detail. It has the weird black things on the ears. The, the Dread Bear usage does not look good. They, they tried to save it by... Because by, then, then it wouldn't sell well. So they tried to add a chase addition to it. The Foxy didn't, didn't look good. The Mangle looks fine. But, you know, where's the original Mangle? It's just... It's 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 annoying to see that such a... What could have been the best FNAF line... Kind of turned to, to, to shit, essentially. Because it's only going to get worse from here. Unless they increase the prices and make them try and make it good-ish. Because it's... Obviously, I know it's not YouTube's fault for inflation, but it's like, I don't know, it's, again, it's, it's not really their fault, but like, shrinking the products and that, it's, if inflation wasn't really a thing, and while, if it was like a, a major thing, this line could have probably been the best FNAF, like, merch line we've ever gone. Um, they released this new Bendy plush, and it looks absolutely sick, um, so I take my when I say this video, or this one plush. I, I, this is really fucking cool, really cool plush. Anyway, but that's it for today's video. Um, I'm be doing the FNAF Plush 2 video next week, maybe, or this weekend, I'm not sure. Um, I finished most of it, I just need to do some final stuff of it, so. Yeah, I um, hope you enjoy watching. If you want to see more, like, kind of rant videos about merch companies, then like and subscribe and that. Um, we hit, like, 200 subs or something like that, 250, 270, I'm not sure. 200 something, so. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next one. Bye. But gnarly teeth, he's like. <laughs>